What's going on guys? We are here with another Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon video. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about more leaks. So if you don't like leaks or spoilers, I suggest you click off this video right now. But as a competitive battler, I found this video that I'm going to be looking at today interesting because it's all about moves and items and Pokeballs and stuff like that. So I thought it was going to be pretty cool uh, to share this with you guys because I'm actually very interested in this video. Uh, just because I am a competitive battler, I need to know stuff about items and moves and stuff like that. So this stuff greatly interests me. Uh, as far as spoilers go, I don't really care too much about spoilers myself. I don't care about knowing what happens. I'm more, you know, I'm more of the guy that wants to know how it happened. So you can tell me something as long as you don't tell me how it happens. If you tell me how it happens, then then it's going to be uh, ruined for me. But, um, you know, this guy right here, K Photix, that made this video that I'm going to be watching, I actually remember him from back in the day. He made a code, I think, that let you change um, the background of your Wi-Fi battles to anything that, you know, any scenery that was from the game. So I'm happy that this guy's still involved in stuff like this, uh, you know, in the data mining process. You can check the website, projectpokemon.org, at the bottom. And I suggest you check out Kphotix's channel because he has three other videos uh, detailing the data mining process and what they found in it. So go ahead and subscribe to Kphotix. I'll leave his link in the description. Check out his channel. Check out the videos. They have a lot of views because people are really interested in these leaks. Uh, but this is his video. Uh, so go ahead and check that out. Like I said, uh, watch it on his channel as well. But I am going to hop right into this. So once again, if you don't like leaks, go ahead and click off the video. But um, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. He actually warned people about leaks himself in the video. But uh, right here, you guys are going to see that there are 98 new moves in the game. And um, 29 out of the 98 are Z moves. And 11 of those 29 are special Z moves, such as Pulverizing Pancake, uh, the move Pikachu has, the move Eevee has, stuff like that. Um, but 719 moves, that is a lot of moves, but I'm pretty sure a good number of those moves are gonna be signature attacks that, you know, Pokemon like Solgaleo and Lunala have, uh, Zygarde has one, uh, I'm sure the Ultra Beast might have some, stuff like that, right? So, I'm curious as to how many of these new moves are gonna be you know, viable into how many of them are not going to be signature moves. So, um, you know, just thinking about stuff like that right now. But I am excited to see that number. New moves are always great and exciting. There's going to be one that's completely busted. Uh, moves get changed around all the time as well. Like, knockoff is completely stupid now. Um, apparently, some moves have been nerfed, like Thunder Wave. Uh, but let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit to the next slide here. I'm trying not to go too far. HMs gone. They're a thing of the past. That's pretty big because HMs are stupid. I don't want to ruin one of my Pokemon's movesets just to teach it fly, man. <laughs> um, but we see that in the demo. Um, you can ride on a Tauros instead of a bicycle. Um, I'm sure you can fly instead of actually teaching fly to one of your Pokemon. So HMs are gone. They're a thing of the past. Completely happy about that. Don't really think HMs were a useful thing to begin with. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool to me. So here, uh, hold on, let me go back a little bit here. Um, if you can see, I might have to blow this up a little bit, but if you guys can see this, there are moves that have been removed, AKA certain TMs are gone, okay? So certain TMs are gone, and not only are certain TMs gone, they've been replaced by some of the old HM moves. So if you look at TM76, it used to be Struggle Bug, but now it's Fly. Fly is a TM. You can teach Fly to one of your Pokemon, and it's deletable upon teaching. Not only is it deletable upon teaching, but it's a normal move. It's not an HM anymore. That's crazy to me. And I hope Fly, I hope, like, what I hope is that the TMs that used to be HMs are still usable as they were. So if my Gyarados knows Surf for whatever reason, <laughs> I don't know why my Gyarados will no surf, but if my Gyarados knows surf, I still hope that I can surf on it, but I just hope that surf is still treated as a TM. Like, it's still going to be treated as a TM, but I still want to be able to surf on my Pokemon if I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I teach my, uh, whatever that Toucan thing is, or, or pick a peck if I teach my pick a peck Fly, I still want to fly on it, but I also want to delete Fly if I want whenever I want. And I, it seems like that's what I'm gonna be able to do. But um, we have a few TMs that are brand new moves uh, and they don't have any names yet, obviously. Uh, Incinerate TM59 uh, is gone and replaced with a brand new move, move 693, 
whatever that is. I have no idea. Uh, we have a couple of those though. So that's pretty cool that we see that HM moves are actually TMs now and certain TMs have been replaced with, uh, with other moves. Look at Dig, TM28 Dig, it's Leech Life now. If Leech Life is a TM, I'm gonna assume that it's been buffed because Leech Life was one of the weakest moves in the entire game before. I think it did like 20 damage. It was like a bug move um, and it, it's, like a, it's like a bug type Giga Drain, but it, it was like super weak. So hopefully they buffed Leech Life if they're gonna replace Dig with Leech Life, so. Um. Moving on to items. We have 920 items in total, up from 775 in Auras, but obviously a lot of those items are going to be related to Z moves, as we see here. 58 out of the brand new 145 items are related to Z moves. Each type has a Z move, which is, you know, obviously going to take up 18 slots. And we have the 11 special Z moves, which takes up another 11 slots. And then apparently each Z move has two items. Um, that are that correspond with the Z move, the smaller being the crystallized form of Z power. So that's 58 items out of the new 145 that are related to Z moves, but we still have a ton of items that are not related to Z moves. And I'm really excited about that because it seems that um, these items that we have a good chunk of them may be used for competitive. Like we have items like Choice Band, Choice Specs, Choice Scarf. Maybe we'll get an item that locks you into one move but raises your defense <laughs> by, by a stage, who knows? It, it's just really cool to me that there's that many new items. I'm really hoping that a lot of them are used for competitive um, because items, items and abilities are really huge in competitive play. Your hold item is a part of what makes your set good sometimes. Some Pokemon are not good without certain hold items, like Shedinja, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what these new items are. Uh, moving on, there's a new in-battle item, like, like Dire Hit, with the held effect. So, I don't know, that, that doesn't matter to me at all. I never use those in-game, like, X Defense and X Attack items, I never use those bull craps. 852, new Cure All Medicine. Once again, it doesn't really, I mean, that matters in-game, but it doesn't really matter to me as a competitive battle. So um, let's go ahead and move right along because there's some more interesting stuff in this video coming up. And it looks like I found what I was talking about before. 879 through 884 are held items with effects. So hopefully those will be uh, the items that increase a stat or do something for the Pokemon when they're being held, like a new life orb or something. I don't know, that'd be cool. Uh, 853 through 856 are used to change forms, so they could be the Zygarde cells. Uh, nobody knows that quite yet. These are just, you know, guesses. Uh, 849 is a new evolution stone. 847 is a usable key item to change forms for Zygarde. All four bikes and travel trunks have been stubbed. <laughs> 851 is a new ball. So apparently what I saw on Twitter earlier today is that there is a Pokeball that is specifically used to catch the Ultra Beast. And I think there's a picture of that in this video somewhere. So that'd be cool to see. Uh, it makes sense that they would need a specific ball because they're not actually Pokemon, or I, I mean, they could actually be Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure they're not. So there's that. So here we are, the new Pokeball that they're talking about. I heard this is gonna be called an Aether Ball, but nobody actually knows that for sure. But this is clearly, like, if you look at the Pokeball, you can see that it has the same design on it that um, the same design as when uh, Lily actually, I guess it's not, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't say Lily, but okay, you, you, let's scrap what I just said, okay? It has the same design as when UB01 appeared in the trailer. I'll just say that. I was gonna say, as when Lily turned into UB01, but that's not what happened in the trailer. We don't actually know that. So I'll just say it has the same design as when uh, UB01 appeared in the trailer. Uh, we have some more screenshots of this Pokeball being used uh, right here. Yes, you can kind of see it there. I can't really blow this up any more than it is. Um, but yeah, that's an even better picture right there. Um, once again, check out Kphotix. He has watermarked everything, so go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. But that is the new Pokeball. This Pokeball is most likely going to be used to catch the Ultra Beast. That's my theory at the moment. But tell me what you guys think. Leave your comments down in the comment section. Tell me what you think about all of this stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty crazy that we got all these new items. Uh, I'm really, really interested to see what they could be. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Bye.